Hi there, Mark here again. Welcome to this video where we're going to look at making a repair to the gears or some gears on this HBX or Hayboxing 16889 truck. Um, stick around because I've found uh, some alternative spares that we can use on this. So uh, let's have, just have a, a talk about what's happened first. So on the last run it started making a horrible clicking noise and uh, seemed to lose a bit of drive. Uh, so obviously I stopped straight away. There's obviously something wrong inside. So what we need to do is find out what that is. So let's get the body off. It seems to turn the prop shaft okay when we move it so it seems like the the pinion and the spur gear are okay but uh, yeah that clicking noise so try to turn the front so you can see I can hold the one wheel turn the other and we're still moving the back wheel so try the other one yeah that seems okay let's try the back so again stopping the front wheels from moving turn one of the wheels Ah, now the prop shaft isn't turning now, the wheel's turning on its own, so something's wrong at the back here in the gears obviously, if I move the car a bit so that the, uh, the pinion gear moves all the other gears, yeah, I've got drive there uh, and it's gone again, yeah, so there's set something definitely wrong at the back, so what we'll do is take all this off and have a look. So I don't think we need to take the, the whole thing apart, we'd have to take all the components off. I think what we can do is take off the top shop mounts, if we take off the top of the uh, the top A arms we can move those out the way and we need to get this top cover off here so we can get to the gearbox in here and the differential. So the first thing I'll do is take the screws out the shocks get yourself a tub or something to put all your parts in, don't want to be losing any of these parts so that's those gone and then it's a bit fiddly let me just zoom in a bit but hopefully you can see in here if you just get your screwdriver in at the right angle you can actually get these top mounts of the uh, the top wishbone or the top arm off so yeah just be careful you don't uh, damage the head So that's that out. Then get rid of your drive shaft, your dog bone. This is a hopped up one. They are plastic as standard. Okay, so that's that gone. And do the same on the other side. Okay, so what we need to do now, you can see I've already started, is you've got to take those two screws out the front there like they're on top of the bumper and that moves out the way uh, and there's the top of the gearbox assembly or the gearbox case you've got one here and one the other side there you've got these two and that one on the end so we can get these out you need to take out these two as well else you can't get it off the front will lift up but you need to take out these two screws here now it should come away. I'll zoom out again. Okay, there it is. So we can now see what's inside. Um, so there's the front diff. Note the orientation. Make sure when you put it back together that um, the gear here, this uh, I think is a ring gear, is pointing towards the motor. If you put it on the other way around then the wheels will be going in opposite directions and we don't want that so let's have a look what's going on in here so there's the diff it seems to be okay and quick check there the teeth all look okay so what I'll do is I'll give that a clean up and put some fresh grease on it so that's good to go again but if we have a look in here you might be able to see Oh, there are some bits of plastic. There's one. That's definitely a tooth of a gear. And there's another one in there, and a bit of muck. So again, we need to clean all of this out here. 
and if we turn this round you can see there on that bevel gear that the teeth have snapped clean off so we need to get this out we just lift that up it's a bit tight but should be able to just pull this off yep there she comes and you can see that bevel gear is absolutely blown no good at all so this is a, a funny little unit if we just pull off the one bearing at the back and then you should be able to pull that whole gear out from the spur gear so this is the spur gear and then we need to get this bearing off the bevel gear and uh, get a new one of these okay so that's all cleaned up now I used a bit of white spirits and a brush and uh, cleaned it up dried it off and uh, cleaned all the inside of the, uh, the case out got rid of all those bits of plastic and uh, here are the new spares I've ordered now I actually got these from the UK I spent a long time looking for spares for this for the 16889 and the only spares I could find were in Hong Kong or China and uh, they were all quoting 40 days delivery and I thought there's got to be a, a quicker way of getting the spares so I started looking around at other 1 16th scale cars um, to see if there was anything that got a similar chassis that I could use the parts from and uh, after a lot of searching around I came up with this I'll put a picture up now it's the FTX Tracer and uh, if you look at the picture um, you can see that it got those uh, orange wheels the orange rims so that gave me a, an idea that it might be the same and I, I looked at lots and lots of different diagrams and pictures and it turns out that the chassis itself the basic tub and all the running gear is the same so there's a big tip for you guys um, they're much more readily available in Europe certainly in the UK uh, got these in two days and I think they were four quid for the whole lot so I've got the front and rear bevel gears all the metal bearings and the uh, spur gear so I might as well put a brand new spur gear on uh, while I swap out this uh, the rear bevel gear so let's get that out so as you can see there's the old bevel gear it's exactly the same and uh, there are the spurs again they're exactly the same so let's see if these do in fact fit I'm pretty hopeful about this I might as well use the uh, the new bearings as well so it's all like brand new again so again just push that through put the other bearing on and then we've got to try and get this set on the end of the prop shaft so a bit of fiddling but we've got it in there to make sure the bearings locate where they're supposed to and uh, make sure it turns around okay nice and smoothly um, meshing up with the uh, the motor so yeah that looks all quite good um, get the cleaned up diff again just drop that into place make sure everything's meshing up okay yeah so what I need to do now is get uh, a load of grease on these components okay so that's all greased up now as you can see and uh, another little tip is to put a little bit of thick grease onto the mating surfaces it helps keep the dust and dirt out so what we need to do now is get this back on and get all these screws back in the two into the front through the top of the bumper here uh, are slightly longer than the rest of them so yeah make sure you put the longer ones in there and it's always a good idea before you start screwing these in to back thread them so if you turn the screw backwards you'll feel a little click hopefully and that's the thread seating into the old thread in the plastic stops you stripping them out so all these going into this cover are the uh, ordinary cap screws or button head screws there are some counter head screws that will go into the top of the shocks and the top wishbones or the top arms they are slightly thinner threads as well so that's the cover fixed on with that one that one that one on either side of the diff there and the two at the front and then we've just got these two to put in for the brace on the top
So now we can pop the dog bones in, the front drive shafts, sorry the rear drive shafts um, and you use these tiny countersunk head screws to put those on and for the same ones for the tops of the shocks. So it just goes in to the bottom hole in this uh, shock tower here. As I say, be careful where you go with that. And all I need to do now is get the uh, top of the shocks screwed back on. So there you go, it's as simple as that. Um, hopefully that's going to be as good as new now. Yep, it all seems to be driving the right way and again, now we've got no slipping or clicking. So yeah, I think jobs are good in. So there you go, top tip for the HBX 16889 or the Hayboxing. Um, if you're looking for spares and you can't get them locally, have a go at looking for FTX tracer parts. As I said, I know that the uh, FTX has got an importer in the UK, uh, probably in lots more countries around the world as well, so give that a go. They are exactly the same chassis. So I um, hope you enjoyed that, I hope it was helpful, and uh, hope to see you on the next one. Bye.